frame element to frame element relations. Frames are systems of interrelated concepts, each of which is a frame element or FE. As shown in the tutorial on frame elements, some are necessary for the frame to be instantiated. Those are called core frame elements. However, sometimes the presence of a frame element may impose a constraint on others. Let's take the motion frame as an example. Look at these sentences. The ball moved from his hand into the basket. The ball moved into the basket. The ball moved around for five seconds before disappearing. In the first case, the frame elements, theme, source and goal are present in the sentence. In the second, only theme and goal are mentioned. The last sentence mentions the theme and the area where the motion happened. Note that, although area, go and source are all core frame elements in the motion frame, they don't need to, and sometimes they actually can't, all occur in the same sentence. The semantic analysis of how lexical units appear in text indicates that there are constraints in the combinations of frame elements with each other. We call those frame element to frame element relations. In FrameNet, there are three types of frame element to frame element relations, which capture special instantiation cases of core frame elements. They are requires, excludes, and core set. Let's see how they work. In the requires relation, the occurrence of one core frame element requires that another core frame element occurs as well. Take a look at this example. The robber tied John to the chair. Tied is an LU evoking the attaching frame. Among the frame elements in this frame, we have item and goal. They are related in such a way that if item occurs, the goal is required as well. Excludes is another frame element to frame element relation. It happens if the presence of one core frame element precludes another frame element from appearing. Let's use the attaching frame again. In the sentence, the robber tied Harry's ankles together, the items frame element is present. Note that the ankles are tied together, which results in mutual attachment. Because of that, if the items frame element occurs, then the item and go frame elements are excluded. So, we say that items excludes item and go. Finally, we also have the corner set or core set relation. It occurs when the presence of any member of the set is sufficient to satisfy the requirements of the LU. Take a look at what happens with the source, path and go frame elements in the fluidic motion frame. In the sentence, the water gushed into the house, into the house is the goal. And in the sentence, water run from his hair, over his face, down his back, we have source and path instantiated. In this situation and in various motion frames, core frame elements form a core set. Hence, although they can all be instantiated in sentences, it is also possible that only one of them occurs. In addition to these relations, there are situations in which the lexical unit itself may instantiate some frame element. In this case, we specify the incorporated frame element when registering a new LU. Bottle, file, and garage are LUs in the placing frame. They all incorporate the goal, which is where the theme ends up. In the local by use frame, we have another example. Many LUs in this frame incorporate the local, a stable bounded area defined by its use, such as city, farm, or laboratory. Frame element to frame element relations are key for frame net annotation, since, in principle, all core frame elements must be somehow instantiated when the frame is evoked, unless some frame element to frame element relation specifies otherwise.